What's up guys? Sean here again. We have a 2005 Harley Davidson Road King Classic. Now you're 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 asking like Sean, what's the Road King Classic? Well, the Road King the Road King Classic has these soft bags. They're soft hard bags. The leather bags instead of the uh, the hard bags. This bike is a super cool color. It's not it's not the root beer. It's like but it's like a it's a deep, deep, deep uh, plum purple color, but the bottom's black. It's a great looking bike. Uh, it's got Vanzenheim's pipes. It's got low miles for an 05. Fuel injected. This bike runs awesome. Let's take it for a spin, guys. bike's got 31,000 miles, runs like a beast. I'm a big fan of the Road King my style bike although I don't like these handlebars I like the I like the beach if I'm gonna ride a road king get rid of the fairing I want like those beach cruiser handlebars where my hands are like two inches from my knees that's what I like because then you feel like you're sitting on top of the bike and not like in the bike but I'm, I'm not saying that this is comfortable but if it's gonna be a, if it's gonna be my road king. Guys, these Harleys, if you think 31,000 miles is a lot of miles for a Harley, then why are you even buying a Harley? I mean, if you think, if you're, on a, if you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend good money for a bike that can only, that, that can't do 31,000 miles. You, you, you probably shouldn't be buying a Harley then, you know. I've seen these bikes do over 100,000 miles. I've sold Harleys with over seven. I sold three-year-old Harleys with over 75,000 miles. These bikes can run. They're not the fastest things out there, but uh, you maintain them right, and most Harley, most Harley uh, owners. They maintain their bikes. This bike was traded in at a Harley Davidson dealership. Most likely it was maintained at that Harley Davidson dealership. This bike runs great. It's got the cool tachometer. We're rolling not quite 60 at 2200 RPMs. That's where it should be. This bike does have the alarm system on it. The little key fob. Really fun bike to ride. I'm a big fan of the Road King. It's just a little more relaxing to, to hop on a Road King than like a full touring bike. Just because it's going to be a lot lighter, doesn't have all the, the stuff, the big fairing on the front. But you can still go on a big trip with it. You just don't have a radio. Actually, funny story about this bike. I come into the shop today, and I, you know, I got like 20 bikes in there. And I'm looking around, and I'm thinking, wh where is the Road King? So I go and I look at all every single bike again. I'm like, I must have missed. I must have. I must have misplaced it inside the shop. Where? Where did this thing go? I'm looking. I'm looking, and then I'm, I, I tell the other guy I work with, guy. I say, guy, uh, I, I misplaced a bike. Have you seen the Road King? And he's like, I, no, I haven't seen it. I was hoping he took it home or something like that. So we're thinking, we're thinking. And then I realized where it is. And I run outside, I run down the hill, I run to the, there's a restaurant right near us. Okay, okay, it's not a restaurant, it's McDonald's. I ate McDonald's yesterday. I, I feel bad about it, but 
I rode the I rode the Road King to McDonald's to grab a burrito, a breakfast burrito, because now they do breakfast all the time. And um, and then I walked home and I, I forgot all about it. I left the thing in the parking lot. It scared me. I didn't think anyone stole it because you don't just come in and steal one bike out of 20. But uh, so I got my Road King back. I'm gonna button up my jacket while I'm right here. I'm gonna button up my sleeves. Guys, don't make the mistake that 90% of people are gonna make in these next six months. And that is don't buy a bike, don't wait to buy a bike in the springtime. I'm not gonna say don't buy a bike in the springtime because I'm selling bikes in the springtime. I'm gonna sell a lot of bikes in the springtime. And I'll tell you this, the, 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 the prices go up in the springtime. Now, I, other dealerships, they, they might try to gouge you. I won't, my prices are still gonna be incredibly low. I'm gonna sell a lot of bikes, but you're gonna save a lot of money buying a bike now, the bike that you like, instead of waiting for the springtime to buy it and even if and let's say maybe you're not going to save any money right the bike's going to be available now in the springtime these bikes don't last at all i i i'm i'll probably sell 40 bikes in the month in in, in april and may in, in each month 80 bikes total uh, i don't doubt that and that's because my prices are killer and my bikes are awesome. Guys, check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Check out what I'm check out the new stuff that's coming in. Check out uh check out my website, SRK Cycles. And check out the uh, check out the walk around video of this bike. I'm gonna pick this bike apart. I'm gonna show you every little possible tiny itty bitty little tiny itty bitty flaw that I can find on this bike. I want you to know exactly what you're getting. A lot of my customers fly in, they drive in from a distance, um, they buy the bike sight unseen and get the bike shipped to them. Probably 40% of my bikes get shipped to the customer. So they're buying the bike sight unseen. They have to be exactly what, what I describe it to be. And I, you know, I can't, I can't, I, I do, I do long walk around videos showing everybody every little piece of this bike. I'm available to answer any questions anybody has. The last, so my, my goal is to be 100% transparent about the bike. And I do that because I, I don't want any uh, bad reviews. I don't want to be mad. You know, some people, some people want a flawless bike, and I get flawless. I have flawless bikes. Other people, they, they want a bike that looks good. They don't care if it's got a little couple dings and scratches on it. The worst mistake you could do is sell a bike saying that it's flawless, but it's got a couple dings and scratches on it to a guy that demands that he has a flawless bike. Then he's gonna be mad. He's gonna tell his friends. He's gonna give you a bad review. That's not. It's that's not the right way to do business. So I just be 100% transparent. Tell them exactly what it is. Price the bike out appropriately, or just dirt cheap or crazy cheap as I do it. Alright guys, this bike runs really good. 
super nice bike. Love the color. And this bike will go really fast. Road Kings sell fast. People love Road Kings, especially one with low miles like this. Man, this I got the uh, I got the the key and the key fob tied to the uh, to the brake handle. It's been whacking my fingers, my cold little fingers, the whole ride. Alright guys, that ends our test drive, check out the walk around video. Subscribe to the channel and check out the you check out subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out uh, the website. Alright guys.